Hello everyone, my name is Janice May and I would like to show you how to glaze your paper beads. So the beads that I have here is what I call the pagoda beads and I have a tutorial on how to make this very cool beads that you can actually embellish around here. Another tutorial for that too. Uh, but today I want to show you how to glaze your beads using my very own uh, Vibrance. Vibrance is not a glue, but it can make your beads shiny and hard and it can uh, make it last for a lifetime, for a very long time as long as you take care of it properly. So let's go over what you need to glaze your beads. I would um, want to have a big fat brush handy, an old one will do, and a fishing line. This is like a 12 test, 10 pound, 6 pound test is fine, okay? You will need a buffer bead. So buffer beads are just like uh, beads that you don't want to use anymore that goes in between your beads so that they don't stick together when you're drying them. So first let me show you how to string your buffer beads. So you have your fishing line right here and I'm just going to put a loop on one side of your fishing line so this way you can hang them up by the loop okay like that and then you will get your buffer bead so I have this is my stash of beads like a bead soup but I call mine um, my bead roll because I just put it in like an old pillowcase or something of that nature so they are just beads that you know when you have some leftover beads and you don't know what to do with them so this is my stash so what you need is take for example like just like a 6-0 seed beads and you string them I would string two like this and then I would take my uh, nylon string and put it through the first bead that you strung okay because if I don't do this the the little beads will just go right into the hole of your paper beads or you need a bigger beads but I find that this works so there it is and then I would string my paper bead so okay and then you would do the same thing get two seed beads and string let it th put it through the first bead that you strung so that it looks like that that will hold your bead and you want a little room for it to move around so that when you're drying them you can you know reposition them as you wish and then string your other bead So now I have strung my beads ready to be glazed like so. Um, I decided to put two beads in between so that way you have room for the beads to so that they don't uh, stick to each other. So the next thing you need to do is I 
normally would put my vibrance in a bottle or a jar like this if um, if you bought the one that comes in a jar already then that's fine but it's good to just uh, transfer it into a glass like this if you have the big 16 ounce vibrance for example and um, let's fill this up a little bit so then what you need to do next is take your beads and just dip it like so okay let it stay there for maybe eight ten seconds or something like that and then as you can see um, it has some bubbles in there and first I'm just going to like do this like hit it against the jar like so to just get off the excess and then this is where the fat brush comes in to just kind of take away the excess and the bubbles and then you hang it like that because it has a loop hang it on a nail outside or air dry it but check every uh, couple of minutes or so while it's wet and then just hang it uh, the other way around just kind of invert it like so once in a while and then uh, it should dry in like 15 minutes or so and then you get to dip it again as you can see it's taking on the shine right now and the paper absorb the glaze and there is no more bubbles or excess and then you hang it up like that to dry so there's your pagoda beads I would dip it maybe two or three times and then um, you're ready to do whatever you like with your beads so I'm going to have a video and I should have the link down there on how to embellish this pagoda beads and they are so cool so okay I hope you learned something new today till next time thanks for watching